So in one of our previous videos, I showed you how you can sideload apps on your Android TV. If you haven't watched that video, just wait until the end of the video and click on the YouTube cards, or just go search for that in the playlist. Now Amazon Fire TV Stick basically runs a customized OS of the Android TV. So basically it runs everything that can run on an Android TV. But the only big difference is that there's no Google Play Store, which makes sense because Google and Amazon are competing companies and they don't want to share, you know, resources, I guess. So how do you sideload Android apps on your Fire TV Stick? Well, that's what I'm here for and this video is about and you clicked on this video. I'm Vamsi from SmartDNS Proxy and I'll show you three different ways you can sideload Android apps onto your Fire TV Stick. Each of them are suited for different, you know, smartphone, TV, laptop, or directly onto your Fire TV stick. Those methods will go in detail. Let's begin. Oh, before we begin though, make sure that you subscribe to SmartNose Proxy. That way you get notified every time we put out a new video like this, which is quite helpful for most people who use streaming services, devices, and other gadgets, and the tips and tricks that we provide for them. Anyway, let's begin now, for reals. <music> So to install apps outside of the Amazon's App Store on your Fire TV Stick, you need to enable the sideloading option in the Fire TV settings. That way, just like you do with your smartphone, you can sideload apps onto your Fire TV Stick. So go to the Fire TV homepage and then navigate all the way down to the Settings tab. And then Device, Developer Options, and under Apps from Unknown Services, select Turn On. Also, while you're at it, enable the USB debugging on. This allows you to remotely install apps on your Fire TV stick like you did on your Android smartphone. Okay, now that you can install apps outside of the Amazon's App Store, let's start by using the popular method that just directly downloads apps directly to your Fire TV stick using the Downloader app. So Downloader helps you download apps on your Fire TV from the internet. I'll show you how to use it after downloading. So to get started, go to the Amazon App Store and search for Downloader. Or just press the Alexa Voice Assistant button on your Alexa remote and say Downloader. Once you see it, just press that and get the app button. Then, once it's installed, open the app and go to the Browse section. Now as you can see, the Downloader app is essentially a browser but not just any web browser, rather a specialized browser to download APK files from the internet. Say, for example, I want to sideload Streamio on my Fire TV stick, so I'd head over to Google from the Downloader app. There, you can use the remote to move the cursor and on-screen keyboard to type the search items. Search for Streamio APK, select the first Streamio official link, and download the latest Android APK. Once you download the APK, Downloader will automatically install it and open it in the installer window. And then once you've selected a file, the Downloader app will automatically begin the installation process and then select Install to start. And then after that, done to finish. That's it. Now you can find the Streamio app appear on your home page and under the Apps section. Similarly, you can find all APKs from the internet or by using the website APK Downloader. It's safe and it contains legit APKs after all and checks for the source code. However, I don't recommend that you download APK on your Fire TV stick from a source that you don't trust. So if the app that you want to sideload onto your Fire TV stick is already on your Android smartphone, then the f this is probably the fastest way to do it. All you have to do is download the app app to Fire. That way you can just send it directly to your Fire TV stick and it'll install it right then and there. Let's see how. So download the Apps to Fire app on the Play Store. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. And then open it. Next, tap on the three dot button in the upper right corner and select Setup. In this screen, tap Network and then wait for the scan to complete. Now make sure your Fire TV is plugged into the TV and connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Android phone. You'll see all the devices connected to your local network. Pick the Fire TV from the list and then tap on it to connect to it. If you're not sure what the IP address is for your Fire TV stick is, just go to Fire TV Settings, Device, About, and then Network, and you'll see the IP address of your Fire TV stick there. So once you've connected to that, go to the local app section on the Apps to Fire app. You'll see a list of all the Android apps installed on your phone. You can tap on any of the apps on your phone and then Install, which will send it over to the network of your Fire TV. And the best part is, since you have given USB debugging permission in the beginning of this video, this will automatically install all the apps on your Fire TV stick. You don't have to do anything, the app will install itself in the background and appear on your home screen of your Fire TV stick 
automatically. So in our previous two methods, we showed you how you can directly download it from the internet to your 4TV stick or using your smartphone to sending it the APK file directly from your Android smartphone to your 4TV stick. But what if you already have the APK either on your laptop or somewhere on a USB stick? Well, in that case, you guessed it. Just use the cloud storage like Google or Dropbox. Let's see how. So if you want to do this, head over to your Fire TV stick and download the file manager of your choice, such as, you know, ES File Manager. And then once you've done that, open the app. Now use the D-pad on your Alexa remote to navigate to the leftmost column and then click on Network and then highlight Cloud and then click on it. Here, you can log into one of your cloud storages such as Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, etc. Log into the one that you use. For me, it's Google Drive, so I'll use that. Now head over to the device where you have your APK, like, you know, your computer, iPhone. In my case, I have an APK on my iPhone that I want to send it to my Fire TV stick. So on your iPhone, copy the APK and then put it on the Google Drive folder. This will automatically upload the APK to the cloud. And then when you go to your Fire TV stick, you'll find the APK appear on your cloud folder of your ES File Explorer app. From which you can just download the app and then install it. So yeah, those were the couple of ways that you can sideload apps onto your Fire TV stick without the Amazon App Store, you know, either from your laptop or your smartphone or directly downloading it from the internet. There are other ways like, you know, using a USB OTG cable or FTP. We've covered a lot of those in our video that we've done before. So click on the YouTube cards if you want to watch that. It'll either pop up now or later on, or we'll leave a link in the description below. And while you're down there, check out smartnewsproxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on, you know, sites like Netflix. So say if you're in Netflix New Zealand, you can watch Netflix US or even Amazon Fire TV Sticks Prime video. That way you unblock all the music and streaming content that you normally get to see. It's about five bucks a month, which is bugger all if you ask me. As always, I'm Vamzi. Thanks for watching and see ya.